911. City Hook School, I think there's somebody shooting in here. They're still, Rodney, they're still shooting. Right. Sandy Hook School. I keep hearing shooting, I can't okay. keep hearing popping. Guys, we got a shooting at the Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown. It's still happening. Anyone that's a student in this country is at risk now. They were playing with a gun, and the gun went off and killed one of my students. A 13-year-old girl who lost her life in an accidental shooting. The first week of school, there were two guns found in the boys' bathroom. There have been several cases of juvenile gun violence in just the past couple days. Outside Columbine High School, students hear the sound of gunfire. I was teaching at the time of Columbine, and that was a, a big shocker to me that something like that could happen at a school. The 12-year-old injured two students and killed a teacher before taking his own life. He had one student shot himself and killed himself. I found my son 15 minutes after he um, pulled the trigger. It's our 911. What's the address? It's 10 Dickinson Drive in Sandy Hook, Newtown, Connecticut. It sounds like there are gunshots in the hallway. I'm a teacher in the school. Get everybody away from the windows, okay? This is something that the survivors will never get over. There's no undoing that. And as a teacher, I just begin to get more and more concerned about uh, my safety and my students' safety. Many of us hoped that that would be the catalyst for getting the American public angry enough to say, there's gotta be something done about the availability of weapons. And I remember being more upset, really upset when Congress didn't do anything about that, that um, it should have been something that, that motivated Congress to do something about gun control. The amendment is not agreed to. As teachers, what we didn't know is our own retirement system here in California actually had investments in companies that made the assault rifles. Cerberus, a $20 billion private equity firm that's made a ton of profit from owning something called the Freedom Group. CalSTRS is the State Teachers Retirement Service for California. I take money out of my checks every month, uh, set it aside in a bank account for me, invest it. Our pension fund was going to a group that invested in guns. My initial reaction was one of disgust. I think it's ridiculous, and I think we need to act to correct that problem immediately. The California Teachers Pension Fund, they said they were reviewing their investment in Cerberus Capital. I don't want my money to go anywhere to make guns. I was really happy to hear that, that CalSTRS was going to divest from the Freedom Group. I really applaud that. That was about two years ago that the board took action to divest. They still haven't divested. And that's the problem. I'm incredibly shocked that we are still not divested from these companies. I don't get it. We want some accountability in the way our money is invested. Those are our dollars. If it means that we don't make as much profit, then so be it. We have to divest or else basically we're contradicting all the work that we do. One way of voting is with your dollars. It sends a message of where our values are. Calsters did the right thing two years ago and now they need to seal the deal. We don't need any more loss of lives because of this situation. Let's put the students ahead of the dollars. No decision is ever going to be as hard as burying your six-year-old.